Hi everyone and welcome to News Roundup number 108 after a very busy week which has been very very nice and exciting. I hope your week has been just as good. Here we go. Us Brits love our tea. 165 million cups drunk a day and the latest trends in tea drinking have been reported in the Daily Express. Apparently the days of letting tea brew for minutes to get the right taste have gone. According to my Martin Isaac of the consumer site caniatit.uk.co.uk, the advised brewing time now is less than half a minute for all the major brands of tea bags sold in the UK. Martin tested the top brands, Tetley, PG Tips, Typhoo, Twinings and Yorkshire which account for more than 80% of sales, and commented, The problem, it seems, is our impatience. The British tea bag drinker demands an instant cuppa, browning quickly and colouring well with milk. To achieve this speed and colour, tea bags have to be filled with tiny particles of broken tea leaves that have lost their wonderful flavour nuances associated with full leaf assams, darjeelings and oolong teas. I actually like green tea best and I found a very very nice one from Japan. Better late than never. Pensioners David Barker and Daphne Thorpe have tied the knot. 42 years after getting engaged, says the Daily Mirror. David, 71, said the reason for the delay was we didn't want to rush, despite getting engaged just four weeks after their first meet at a dance in 1972. He added, when Daphne had a heart attack last year, I realised neither of us were getting any younger. Daphne, 82, said... When we got engaged, my daughter Susan's best friend, Heather Brown, asked us if she could be a bridesmaid. They were only children then. Well, we said yes, but it's gone on and on. And 40 years later, I thought it would be nice to ask her, as we did promise. Well, I want to know if she did. And what, did they get married? <laughs> so that's how the world sees us. A Daily Express story reports that a poll carried out for the British Council amongst 5,000 people aged 18 to 34 in Brazil, China, Germany, India and the United States came up with some less than complimentary conclusions. Those surveyed put drinking too much as the worst characteristic, followed by bad eating habits, ignorance of other cultures and intolerance toward people from other countries. Fortunately, 46% put politeness and good manners as the best characteristic, while 37% reckoned Britons are educated. I'm sorry I have to defend us here. To put that we are ignorant of other cultures when you come from the United States is a bit pot and kettle. If you don't know that, by the way, look it up. It's a very good saying. Now, it's not a pastime I've ever considered, but according to new research, anglers put as much strain on their hearts during fishing competitions as Premier League footballers during a match. The Daily Telegraph quotes sports scientists at the University of Chester, who measured the heart rates of fishermen as they took part in the annual Fishermania contest, which has a £30,000 prize. One of the scientists commented, once the readings from all anglers were analysed, we found that the average heart rate was 62% of maximum heart rate. By comparison, football players, who are considered to be very physically active during matches, will typically work at 85% of their maximum heart rate. When we looked at the peak heart rate during fishing as a percentage of an individual's maximum, it was typically around 83% with some anglers reaching a maximum of 93%. These values are similar to Premier League soccer players, who can sometimes reach up to 95% of their maximum heart rate during a match. Well, we are a nation of animal lovers. A Daily Mail story about a survey by the charity Blue Cross 
reveals that a third of animal lovers quizzed are taking holiday breaks in the UK because they can't bear the thought of leaving their pets behind. Others say that they take their animals away with them and one in eight admitted that they had cancelled or cut short holidays because they were concerned their pets would miss them. Bless. Well, I hope you're having, as I say, hope you've had a good week and that your weekend will be wonderful. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.